Hey guys, Retro Badger here. Welcome to episode 5 of the Star Trek Bridge Commander walkthrough. This is part 1 of episode 5. Chief Science Officer's personal log, start date 55321.6. Our assignment in the Maelstrom continues, and the Sovereign has definitely seen her share of the conflict. Despite destroying the Cardassian shipyard, I'm still a bit unnerved. Who are these Kessok, and how closely are they working with the Cardassians? I haven't been able to get more than a glimpse of their technology, but what I've seen so far is impressive. Felix is convinced we haven't seen the last of them, and I, for one, wouldn't mind taking a closer look. Commander Larson feels I'll get that opportunity. But for some reason, I'm not entirely looking forward to it. Incoming subspace transmission from Starfleet, sir. The USS Geronimo is undergoing repairs after a skirmish with Cardassian forces during her last assignment. Their mission was to gather information on a Cardassian intelligence outpost, but they were discovered before they could locate their objective. In my opinion, this Sir, mission Geronimo's is the hardest one in the 12. game. She looks like she's been under heavy fire. Captain, you will complete the Geronimo's mission. Starfleet Intelligence believes the Cardassian outpost they were sent to investigate. Ooh, yeah, that is some damage. Isn't information. It? There are very few leads, but Captain McRae felt he was on the verge of discovering its coordinates. Use every means at your disposal to locate the outpost and proceed to the site for reconnaissance. Report your findings to me at your earliest opportunity. Good luck. Liu out. Hmm. There's not much to go on, Captain. Captain? Yes, sir? Examination of the Geronimo's logs may provide some insight. Okay, now if we order, scan the Geronimo ship, scan. we can actually take the quantum torpedoes out of it, which is pretty cool. I'm reading several minor hull breaches and damage to their impulse engines and shield systems. The Geronimo still has a supply of quantum torpedoes in their hull, sir. We could certainly use them. I'll transfer the torpedoes over immediately, sir. Yes, Captain. His log goes into further detail. I will cue it to audio. Captain's log. At 0600, we detected a Cardassian scout ship on course for the Prindle system. Passive sensors detected Cardassian activity near the inner planets, but we lost contact with the scout. I'm holding position near Prindle 5 till things quiet down a bit. Then we'll sneak in and have a look about. I believe we're close to our objective. There's too much activity in system. The Cardassians don't go mucking a boat for nothing. That was Captain McRae's final entry. He sounded pretty confident. I agree. It's definitely worth scouting the Prindle system. Captain, yellow alert, shields up. Quartz okay, so let's in. go to the Prendle system. Okay. Yes, Captain. Let's do a scan of the area. Initiating scan. I'm not detecting any unusual readings, Captain. My scopes are clean. Not so much as a whisper. Captain McRae's logs were quite specific about the activity in the system. Well, there's no activity now, Commander. If there's anyone there, they're hiding pretty well. Maybe they packed up and left. And they could be waiting for us to get closer before they ambush us. You said yourself there's nothing going on, Felix. That's the problem. It's too quiet. McRae seemed confident there was something going on in this system. Maybe we should move on to one of the other planets and continue our search there. I concur. If Captain McRae investigated the area, as his logs indicate, we may learn more of what transpired before the Geronimo was attacked. Captain? We should continue our search of the Prendel yes, system until we locate the outpost. Okay. So let's go to another Prendel planet. Course laid in. Aye, aye. Now I thought they weren't allowed to go to warp within star systems. So what's all that about? Yes, sir. Initiating scan. This is interesting. 
Prendel 4's magnetic field is offset from its axis about 52 degrees. Oh, I'm not captain. detecting any unusual activity, Captain. Course laid in. Aye, aye. Let's get to Prendel. To the other Prendel. Your orders, Captain. Initiating scan. Captain, I'm detecting some anomalous readings near Prendel 3's yes, second Captain. moon. I've added the new coordinates to the con, sir. Okay, Standard let's go to the orbit. second moon. Aye, sir. Now you've got to be careful here because there's two satellites scanning the planet, from what I remember. And if one of those detects you, it's game over. So you've got to be careful here. Bit of trial and error. Entering standard orbit. Your orders, Captain. Initiating scan. Not reading anything new, sir. Yes, Captain. Initiating what? scan. Captain, I'm detecting some anomalous readings near Prendel 3's second moon. Captain, I'm picking up a new contact. <laughs> this could be what we're looking for. Right, the satellites aren't Miguel? on this bit. Hard to say, Commander. There's a lot of sensor interference. It must be the next I'm mission. I'm not detecting any other contacts. If we can get closer, we might get a clearer picture. I think we've found the outpost. Captain, our orders from the Admiral are to investigate the outpost Leaving further. orbit and gather as much information as possible. Captain? Okay, so let's have a look. Intercept course. Captain, plotted. I think we're clear of the interference. Shall I scan Your the orders, target? Captain. Aye, aye. Now we have to be careful orders, here. Captain. Um, Initiating scan. As you'll see in a minute. Minimal power readings. Main life support appears to be running on backup power. Most other major systems are offline. Sensors aren't picking up any life forms. Captain, sensors are picking up several distinct energy patterns coming from the outpost. It almost looks like a power surge of some kind. Captain, the station is powering its weapons. I think we've triggered some kind of defense system. We have to neutralize the station's defenses before we can send anyone over to check it out. Captain, I suggest we exercise caution when engaging the station. If the outpost is destroyed, any information it holds will be lost. Now listen to Data when he says that, because if we cause too much damage to the space station, Eventually, when we send somebody over, it won't be able to defend itself, Your orders, and it will be mission Inside failure. Course, so, Your orders, as I practiced in the last mission, I'm going to aim for the sensor array, as it's the easiest way to do it, and it causes the less damage. Don't worry, the Sovereign can take a pounding. Okay, so we're getting through to the sensor array, so I'm going to change the phaser intensity to low, like last time. Our ventral shields are draining, sir. As soon as we knock the sensors off, the station should be disabled. Station's phaser banks, Captain. Second phaser bank disabled. Our Half forward the station's shield. phaser banks have been disabled. There we go. The station's defenses have been neutralized. Their sensor system has been disabled. Whatever you do, don't try down, and Captain. disable the phasers and torpedoes because you'll cause too much damage. My orders from Admiral Liu are to investigate the outpost when found. Your orders, Any Captain. Any information we uncover is vital. Security is standing by to assist you, sir. Select as many as you need for Captain? an away team. Thank you, Commander. I'm increasing power to the weapons and engines because I know what's coming up. 
Data's going to go over to the space station, but some Cardassians are going to turn up and start attacking the space station. And then we have to defend him. Because if that station gets destroyed, it's game over. And of course, we'll lose Data as well. Standing by to transport the away team. Lowering shields for transport. Captain, the away team is transported to the outpost. Incoming message from Commander Data. On screen. Commander Data reporting, Captain. The outpost is powered down, but I was able to tap into the information systems. They have been stripped of routine procedural codes, but that's all. It appears the Cardassians evacuated the station in a hurry. We are heading toward the engineering deck to attempt to bring main power back online. Captain, I will attempt to access the primary computer core. Apparently, the Cardassians anticipated our arrival. The core is heavily encrypted. It could take some time to gain access. Yes, Captain? Captain, hey. I'm picking up three Galore class vessels on an intercept. Here we go. Course. They're attacking Your the orders, outpost, sir. Captain. Intercept course, progress. So let's just go for them. They're attacking the outpost. So I'm trying to attack different ones to try and distract them from attacking the space station. So as you can see, the space station is taking damage right now, which isn't great. Okay, one down. Let's go after the third one. Sir, the right shield has failed. We're lucky they're not Kelvin classes, just the laws. One remaining, and the outpost is still taking damage. Go for the warp engines, which is the biggest weak spot in my opinion. Target hull integrity at 50%. Okay, we did it. Incoming message from Commander Data. On screen. I have broken the encryption sequence. Evidently, the Cardassians attempted to wipe their computer core's memory before they evacuated. That would explain the encryption. They were not entirely successful. The Cardassians were indeed holding prisoners at this facility, but they were moved before our attack. I will attempt to identify the prisoners and isolate the flight plan of a transport called the Maranac that departed in that time frame. It appears the Cardassians are focusing their efforts on the search for a device of some kind. Records indicate quite thorough research on the history of the Vesuvi star system, as well as the solar event that recently took place there. Do you think there's a connection between this device and the Vesuvi event? From what the Cardassian logs indicate, that would seem to be a reasonable conclusion. I am ready to transmit the remaining core memory to the Sovereign for further analysis. Transmission has been received and stored. Standing by for transport. Phew, glad we did that. The amount of times I failed that Lowering years ago when I played this. Transport. Energizing. I think a lot of people get stuck on this mission back to the sovereign, Captain. and stop playing it, which is a Stand shame because weapons. it's good to see how the story alert. turns out. Yes, Captain? Okay. 61%. I believe our mission has been ah. successful, Captain. I will be taking some time to analyze the computer core information. As humans say, it looks like a gold mine. Captain, I suggest we destroy the outpost. It might compromise the Federation's interests if anyone were to stumble across it. Okay, let's just take your pick. I'm just going to go for the power plant. Full spread of torpedoes. Shh. 
surely that should be enough. That's what, eight torpedoes, is it? Wow, that is one tough space station. Cardassians know how to make them, don't they? <laughs> Just to make sure. I've informed Admiral Yu of our progress. She's responding. Commander Data, what information were you able to gather Stand from Stand down the weapons. Admiral, All stations, there are indications yellow the Cardassians alert. are conducting a focused search for some type of device. The information in the core indicates that the Cardassians suspect the Alioth system as its possible location. Thank you, Commander. Captain, this discovery corroborates intelligence Starfleet discovered only recently. I cannot go into details over an unsecured channel. Return to Starbase 12 immediately, and I'll brief Captain. you then. Liu out. Right. So let's go back to Starbase 12. Here we go. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in part two. Bye for now.